In episode 2, Reacher teams up with Roscoe to investigate Paul Hubble's involvement in his brother's murder. When they visit Paul's home, they meet Charlie, his wife, as Paul is not present. While pretending to use the bathroom, Reacher examines Paul's belongings and notices cog and grass on his shoe. He also recalls Charlie mentioning her daughters, particularly one who wears glasses. Putting the pieces together, Reacher concludes that Paul was targeted in prison, with the glasses serving as a signal to attackers. Since Hubble's glasses were broken and Reacher took a pair from another prisoner, it seems they targeted the wrong person. The investigation continues as Reacher goes to the crime scene to trace his brother Joe's steps and those of the killer. It seems the shooter wanted to be close and may have been a skilled marksman, as evidenced by the precise shot in the dark. Joe's job at Homeland Security could be a factor in his death, but it's still unclear. The next morning, there's another shocking death in Margrave. Police Chief Morrison has been killed in a gruesome manner, he's nailed to a wall, and his genitals are missing. This echoes the warning given to Hubble earlier. It's possible the police are corrupt if the chief was involved with the killers. With a new police chief named Teal calling for an emergency meeting, Reacher advises against involving the FBI. He believes it's important to maintain some sense of control locally to keep the situation stable, even if the real culprits are still at large. After Chief Morrison's death, Reacher suspects that Hubble might also be dead. He had called his wife Charlie late at night, mentioning something about sorting out a banking issue, which suggests he may have been targeted. During the town meeting, tensions rise quickly. Teal appoints himself as the new police chief, leading to arguments and accusations. However, Mr. Klinner steps in to support Reacher, asserting his innocence and providing an alibi. Teal dismisses any connection to Morrison's death, indicating his involvement in the shady dealings. This prompts Finley to reconsider his stance and align with Reacher's perspective. He advises Reacher to contact Picard from the Atlanta field office to seek assistance. They proceed with caution, keeping their actions discreet. Eventually, Reacher arrives at Charlie's house while she and her daughters are preparing to leave. With Picard's help, they enter witness protection, enabling Reacher, Finley, and Roscoe to investigate the case more effectively. Reacher plans to track down Spivey, thinking he holds crucial information. However, he's ambushed by assassins who beat him up. Despite the fight, Reacher only sustains a cut above his eyebrow and another on his back. Roscoe advises him to get stitches, but he opts for glue instead. With the situation calming down, Roscoe and Reacher go to a nearby town for drinks. They later stay at a motel together due to flooding on the road caused by heavy rain. In the morning, they return to town and find Roscoe's house has been broken into. It's unclear if Roscoe or Reacher was the target, but a threatening message carved on the door suggests it's personal. Reacher responds by telling Roscoe, I'll need a gun. Stay tuned for next episode. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.